Here on News 3 Now this morning, I'm Shane Hogan. I'm Chris Stanford. Thanks for tuning in here on a Tuesday morning. A little bit chillier out there this morning. I mean, compared to yesterday, it was 65 yeah. degrees yeah. when we were waking up. So yesterday was a little muggy out there. But yeah, yeah that cold, that cool uh, breeze has definitely made its way back into town. Savannah Brito is out on the patio to start things off for us at the six o'clock hour. Hey there, Savannah. Hey guys, good morning. Yeah, it's not gross outside like it was yesterday. I like, like 65, but it definitely felt muggy. That's not the case this morning. Probably going to want to have a light jacket before heading out. This is still mild though across Dane County as temperatures pretty much have fallen to 51, 52, couple of 53s out there. That's pretty much to our south, but across the area, cooler weather northeast of here off near the lakes. You can really see those northeasterly winds are bringing in cooler weather for pretty Pretty much everyone and that's really going to be the case tomorrow morning. We're actually going to have lows and temperatures during the morning hours fall into the lower 40s tomorrow. So it'll be even chillier about another 10 degrees cooler than what we have out there this morning. There are also showers developing on the radar for the most part. Not worried about that making its way further north compared to Madison and north of that. It's pretty much going to be confined to the southern uh, Wisconsin and Illinois border across northern Illinois. That's where all those heavier showers are located this morning. We still are sitting under a lot of thicker cloud cover. We'll talk about when that's going to dissipate and when milder weather is going to return to the forecast. That's all coming up a little later. All right, Savannah, thank you very much. Well, after 35 years, we now know the identity behind skeletal remains inside a Madison music store. Authorities now say the chimney dough is Ronnie Joe Kirk. His remains were found September 3rd, 1989 inside the chimney at the former Good and Loud Music Store on University Avenue, along with several pieces of clothing. Authorities say Kirk was born in Tulsa, Oklahoma in 1942. So depending on his exact date of birth, Kirk would have been 46 to 47 years old when his remains were discovered. This identification is just the first major step in the investigation. Now we start the process of trying to figure out who Ronnie was and how he ended up in Madison. Madison police say the identification was made possible thanks to modern DNA technology and investigative genealogy. Madison Magazine journalist Doug Moe has been covering the case for the last two years. He shares how one of the detectives felt about the news. She said something to the effect that, you know, when, when, when I found out who this person was, I thought I'd feel relief. and. And certainly she feels accomplishment, but she said it actually opened up 10,000 more questions. Kirk's family, meantime, says they ask for privacy as the investigation continues. News 3 Now's call for action team is taking action for a Verona woman who says her insurance company overcharged her. It happened after Dean Health merged with Medica in January. She tried for months to get someone on the phone, and when she couldn't, call for action stepped in. She says the price tag that came with the merger was way more than what most people could be uh, comfortable with to afford. Out-of-pocket expenses have been $15,000. We have spent that much in health insurance just out-of-pocket with a $9,000 maximum. That's a lot of money to have just out of the blue that you're not budgeting for. You know what your out-of-pocket maximum is, but to exceed it by that much, that's a, that's a huge expense. Christensen says the company gave her this letter recognizing the issue and said they would be working proactively to fix it, but she hadn't gotten any answers. We'll have her first full story and what we heard from the insurers coming up in our next half hour. Well, this story leads up to our call for action telethon happening this Thursday. Our volunteers will be on standby to take your calls and get your stories heard. So make sure to tune in on Thursday from 4 to 630 to watch it all happen live. 604 now, lingering smoke from Canadian wildfires is back in the U.S. We all remember scenes like these from last year with all that smoke. More wildfires in recent days are putting much of Wisconsin and Minnesota under air quality alerts. It left us with uh, a shortage of cleaner air. Experts are warning this summer will be similar to last. I would suspect it may even be worse uh, this year. We had very a large amount of dormant fires in the northeast and south of our community. Uh, very little snow, virtually no snowpack. Uh, and we entered the uh, spring in a category five drought situation. So far, the wildfires in Canada have burned more than 13,000 acres. 
One professor from UW-Madison recommends taking many of the same precautions from last summer. And I think when we have summers like that or a week like that, we're still going to have to stay indoors and mask up a bit and avoid being out in strenuous physical activity. And people that may have some health issues of concern, um, we really have to be sensitive to the medical consequences of that. She adds that the warming climate is contributing to the frequency and the strength of these wildfires. UW Health wants to raise awareness about women's cancer. Yeah, it's in honor of National Women's Health Week. Around 64% of women's cancers involve a sexual organ. The Women's Integrative Sexual Health, or WISH, program at UW Health is taking charge now. They provide clinical consultation, resources, emotional support, and appropriate referrals related to sexual health concerns for women with cancer can be a very difficult topic to talk about. It can be hard for patients to bring this topic up. It can be uncomfortable for providers, you know, to talk about this topic as well. But, you know, care teams are there to help. And I think we're, we're lucky in our system that we've got a great resource with our WISH clinic. Um, but whether that exists in your healthcare system or not, you know, providers want to help. And the first step to that is a conversation about the problem. Some common cancer care side effects can include early menopause, infertility, and issues related to sexual health, such as pain or negative body image. Bringing awareness to mental health through film. That is the goal of the Mental Health Warrior Film Festival. It's happening this Saturday at, Felix, at Flix's Brew House on Madison's east side. The festival started as an idea by Max Blaska, a local creative who says he's battled mental health issues his entire life. So he's put together a lineup of about 20 short films to be played Saturday. Blaska says his own issues of anxiety nearly prevented him from bringing his idea to life when looking for films to show. Tickets are on sale for 15 bucks. We've attached a link on this story at channel3000.com so you can get yours. All the proceeds, this is for a couple of good causes, all the proceeds are going to go to Camp Creatability and Rogers Behavioral Health Foundation. Some important conversations to be having yeah, and, and a great way to do going. it, right? Yeah. Through film, very cool. All right, Savannah, what's coming up in the weather? Guys, we're just tracking a few showers pretty much bubbling up south of Madison. We'll time out and track where those could leave us today and also when some mild temperatures will return. All right, and coming up in your morning sports, the Pirates were in town to face the Brew Crew. Find out who came out on top coming up next. And we're live at Madison Reading Project this morning where they are getting ready to launch Bus 2.0, how you can get in off on the fun in the 608. Watching News 3 Now this morning, brought to you by Toyota. Summer's here, and with a new Toyota, you can capture all the moments that make summer, summer. Like driving a RAV4 to wade in a waterfall. Nice. Cruising to play mini golf in a Camry. <laughs> We're taking a tundra to the beach. You're not going to leave me here, are you? <laughs> right now, get a new 2024 Tundra with 1.99% APR for 60 months, plus $1,000 cash back. See your local Toyota dealer today. Your summer starts here. Toyota, let's go places. Dad always said I was special, that I would do something big someday. But for a while, we were just worried about getting to tomorrow. At UW Health, we found the team that made it their mission. Not just to get me through the day, but to give me a new life and a new kidney. Now, my future is infinite. UW Health, remarkable. Our city has a pulse. Steps from bustling and wild. Find familiar. Experience new. Live in our rhythm and stay. Dad, are you certain this is going to work? Nothing to it. Are you for imprint certain? Certainty matters. Like the certainty of 4imprint, your home for high-quality promotional gear, including exclusive items and brands they love. Printed perfectly and guaranteed to arrive on time. To wow your clients, nail your next event, or inspire your team, check out 4imprint.com. 4imprint for certain.
Get an 11% rebate on everything. Now at Menards. Messina's Animal Stopper is a liquid repellent that prevents animals from damaging your garden. Get a 32-ounce ready-to-use bottle for $7.99 after rebate. Grow a bountiful harvest with miracle Grow Garden Soil. This enriched blend of compost provides essential nutrients to vegetables and herbs. It also protects against over and under watering. A bag is only $7.99 after 11% rebate. Save big money at Menards. This is the all-new Tempur-Pedic Adapt Mattress, and we designed it to help make aches and pains a thing of the past. Because our most advanced, infinitely adaptable temper material eases your pressure points inch by inch and molecule by molecule in a way no other mattress can. All night, every night. Save up to $500 on select Tempur-Pedic adjustable mattress sets and get a $300 gift. Denver Mattress, the easiest way to get the right Tempur-Pedic. You're watching News 3 Now this morning, moving forward. Time to see what's going on in the 608. We're talking about the Madison Reading Project. They are gearing up to unveil their second book bus this week. Yeah, that's right. And our Josh Spreider is live in Madison with how the nonprofit is moving forward. Hey, Josh. Hey, good morning, guys. Rowan Childs with the Madison Reading Project joining us once again with some huge news. Yeah. And here it is standing behind us. And I say huge because this is big. <laughs> it's our big much bigger, bigger bus, <laughs> um, a book bus that is for kids and the community and we're just thrilled to launch it on Saturday and have it out in the community along with our smaller bus too. This is what you've been waiting for for quite some time and it's amazing to see this all come together and you wouldn't yeah. be able to do this without the community's help. We've been talking about this for months. Yeah, absolutely. This has been a year and a half of dreaming up what we could do. Um, our other bus has been a a catalyst in order to give the impact that we do and get books right out into the community to where the kids are, where all the events are, our community partners, and likewise to bring something like this. Um, our second book bus, we wouldn't be able to do it with all of the different support, donors large and small, to bring another vehicle with three times the amount of books that'll be able to be on board. Um, and a much sophisticated vehicle as well so we can have, drive it more safely throughout the year. And this is going to make you be able to do even that much more out in the community, especially going into the summer months when kids are out of school. Yeah, so our smaller bus, definitely we were able to have lots of kids on and off the bus, show all kinds of different books and really engage kids and provide a fun experience. And our new bus now, just making it that much more accessible, more books on board. Um, and with the lift, we're able to bring people inside the bus that weren't able to get in before. And likewise, we'll be able to use the lift to get full book carts out onto the ground so people can shop comfortably on the outside. And everything's free as always. And that's what's so amazing about this. So the community is invited to a huge kickoff event this weekend. What do yes. people need to know? Yeah, so our bus Palooza is on Saturday morning, 10.30 to 12.30 at the Cole Center, hosted by Wisconsin Athletics. There'll be all kinds of our other mobile partners there, activities for kids, anyone is welcome to come, uh, big and small, and they can, everyone will be able to board the bus, get a free book, play games, swag bags, and Bucky Badger will be there. That's awesome. Yes. Well, Ro, congratulations. Uh, this is quite amazing, and you said it is funny to see the big bus next to the <laughs> other big bus, yes. because this one really is big <laughs> it really it really is big our staff are excited we have lots of training going on so that we can all drive the bus carefully and make sure we can be able to do that and we're just thrilled to be able to fill it up soon we have a fill the bus campaign with a couple thousand dollars yet to help us fill the bus with new books for the entire summer wonderful well rowan thank you so much for the positive update this morning we appreciate it thank you if you'd like to learn more about madison reading project or bus 2.0 you can go to the story up on channel 3000.com what do you think guys that is quite the bus that's going to be a really, really good tool here in the community. Absolutely. I like bus 2.0. That's, that's good. Be cooler if they let us take it for a spin. <laughs> Not Leah, though. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Josh. That's awesome. Thanks, Josh. Josh is always looking for inspiration to share with you folks at home. So if you have an idea that would be good for TV, let them know about it.
All right, it's 615. Savannah Brito's here with your first warm weather forecast. Hey, Savannah. Hey, guys. Good morning. Breezy and cool today. Mild weather is going to return luckily as early as tomorrow. Also, lots of sunshine in the forecast for your Wednesday midweek. Late in the work week, though, storm chances could return as early as Wednesday night. I think for the most part, Thursday will be the day to watch. Severe weather chances stay to our southwest, though, on Thursday. Isolated, non-severe storms remain in the forecast for us. It's definitely cooler out there. Things are warming up a little bit. But Madison's a chilly 14 degrees cooler than this time yesterday. Not necessarily cold. This is actually still about four degrees warmer than where we should be. Most of our temperatures are in the mid to upper 40s. That's what's average for this time of year. But we're up to 51 right now in Madison. A little cooler towards the lake, though, northeast and also northwest of here. Temperatures are down to the 40s. 46 in Waukesha, 48 in Fond du Lac, 45 in Watoma. So there are some cooler weather patterns that pretty much is across southern Wisconsin this morning, not necessarily across Madison, but both cooler this morning and later this afternoon. We're only going to make it in the lower to mid 60s. I think that's as best as we see temperatures warm to today. Like I mentioned, though, as early as tomorrow, that's when temperatures warm right back up. Breezy conditions all across southern Wisconsin, 16 miles per hour in Janesville, 22, though, in Madison, 16 miles per hour in Black River Falls. Also, some rain showing up, spotty showers. That's pretty much better south of Madison. I don't anticipate that to actually work its way north to Madison or even north of that area. It's pretty much going to stay across the border, Wisconsin-Illinois border. That's thanks to that stationary front that is located just to our south. Low pressure is going to turn, but as those showers remain kind of near that border, we see that kind of move south then and out of the area. Clouds also eventually decreasing, but right now we're waking up to mostly cloudy skies. The good news is later this evening, that's when we are clear out, but because we're anticipating a mostly clear night and temperatures falling all the way down to 43, it will be chilly, a chilly start to tomorrow morning. Beyond that, though, we're back to the lower 70s Wednesday and Thursday before conditions warm up even more. Saturday and Sunday, We'll be making a run for the 80s. Madison's lakes are going to be busy this weekend, and for a good cause. As the sixth annual Casting for Kids event put on by former Wisconsin assistant men's hockey coach Mark Osiki, where 80 boats hit Madison's lakes trying to bring in the most fish. The catch and release event has a silent auction at the end of the day. They raised $155,000 last year at the event for Carbone Cancer Center and American Family Children's Hospital. They even invite the survivors out to the auction, and for Mark, that makes it all worth it. But when you see the people, and we're going to have probably three, four different families that are coming uh, with their children that are survivors. And that's what it's all about. I mean, you hear their stories, you see the smile on the kids' faces or the family's faces, uh, but then they start telling their story and talking about the people in the Children's Hospital and the Carbone Cancer Center. They're miracle work workers. They're, they're incredible. And uh, that, that's what this thing's all about. Steve Stricker withdrew from the PGA Championship yesterday. This weekend's event would have been his first PGA major he participated in in more than four years. Stricker, who is in the midst of a super busy golf stretch, said earlier this week, I'm tired, I'm old, I know where my place is. So I don't know about that one, Strick. Brewers playing the Pirates, looking to stay hot at home. Bottom of the eighth, Pirates up 7-2. Things not looking good. Full count with the bases juiced, and Jake Bauer says, I'll take the grand salami. A grand slam from the first year Brewer makes it a one run game. That's his fourth ding dong of the season, but the comeback effort would fall short. Brewers lose eight to six is your final. Even if both of these teams already knew that they were in, there is nothing like hearing your name called. After winning their second straight conference tournament title, Beloit Baseball is headed back to the big dance. And as for UW-Whitewater, they're not just in the NCAA D3 baseball tournament, they're hosting a regional. Both teams will play this weekend. Braylon Allen got one step closer to taking his first NFL snap yesterday, officially signing his rookie contract with the New York Jets. Allen, who rushed for nearly 3,500 yards in his three seasons as a Badger, joins Brees Hall in the Jets' backfield, where he should get plenty of opportunities. That's your morning sports fix. Have a terrific Tuesday. You too, Andrew. Well, the Badgers football team knows kickoff time for one of their marquee matchups coming up this season.
Their game against Alabama at Camp Randall will be on September 14th at 11 a.m. on Fox. It'll be a part of their big noon kickoff. Fans can guarantee themselves tickets by purchasing season tickets. Those go on sale in eight days time. Alabama coming to town. Going to look a little different without Nick Saban on the yeah. sidelines, but still. That's a big matchup. Right, right, right. That's one they've had circle in calendar for some time. I think they're going to sell a lot of these season ticket packages just with that game alone. To guarantee that yeah, one. I've heard, I've heard now that, that some people are just going to buy those season ticket packages, sell the Bama ticket, and that pays essentially for pay the for rest yourself? of the season. So Whatever you got to do, right? All right. Something I've heard. <laughs> Still ahead this morning, we'll show you an unprecedented skydiving stunt. In our next half hour, state Senate Republicans are set to overturn some vetoes. Find out some of the bills that they're fighting. And as we had to break this morning, we're taking a look at gas prices. We're back right after this. First worn weather, keeping you ahead of the storms. Discover the joy of giving back with Habitat for Humanity and Habitat Restore of Dane County. I love the cause. I love the people. I love helping the customer with their home projects. It's a lot of fun, but made lasting friendships, and you get a sense of accomplishment. Help build a brighter future. Volunteer today. Life's better when you're under our roof. The policy's updated. Because we know your house is where their dreams begin. Thanks, Caleb. And our agents are here no! to help you feel protected so your family can pursue their dreams. Hey! Bundle life and save up to 25% on home and auto. American Family Insurance. Insure carefully, dream fearlessly. They are some of the hottest videos on social media. Those videos claiming to instantly get rid of bags under your eyes. Annette Figueroa is here to tell us why she says this one is for real. This one is for real. And what it does is it tightens and lifts the appearance of bags underneath your eyes. And not only does it work on the bags, it works on the appearance of crow's feet, fine lines, and wrinkles. Try it this Mother's Day for only $14.95. Plus, get free shipping. Visit plexidermtrial.com or call the number on your screen. It's the summer of $9.99 at Bob's. And this Memorial Day weekend, we're celebrating in all of my 176 stores with seven brand new showrooms. You won't believe how far $9.99 goes on furniture, mattresses, and more. So come party like it's $9.99 this Memorial Day weekend. What? Not the year $9.99. Oh, right. When the looks you love go for $9.99 or less, there's only one thing to say. Oh, my Bob! Bob's Discount Furniture. Oh, hey, I'm your celebrity spokesperson for Zeem, the new way to stream local news, sports, and events from all over the country. But Zeem speaks for itself. It doesn't need a celebrity spokesperson to tell you to download Zeem. Besides, an ex-teen idol like myself might resort to pandering gimmicks. You're too smart for that. Let's go to the Zeem logo before I do some sexy, overdramatic ending, huh? Zeem, always local, always free. Need inspiration? Shop Pick and Save. For over 30,000 mouth-watering choices. Plus, savings like digital coupons worth over $600 each week and up to $1 off per gallon at the pump. Pick and Save is worth it every time. Pick and Save. Fresh for everyone. Right now, pet dander, skin cells, mold spores, pollen, and dirt are being sucked into your air ducts. Get cleaner air and system efficiency now with Stanley Stamer. For over 75 years, we've continually engineered our equipment and processes to deep clean your entire home. Your air ducts aren't clean until they're Stanley Steamer clean. Call 1-800-STEAMER. Stanley Steamer gets your home cleaner. Hey, we're back sharing Gwen's morning with you. All right, uh, take a close look. Yes. You'll see a rainbow. I sure do. Yeah. That's a beautiful great shot, shot there. Uh, Savannah told us last hour, it could be a little bit of a, you know, Virga mixed in here with some of the clouds. I thought that was when I was, the time of year I was born. <laughs> no, that's Virgo. <laughs> Very nice. Come on. That was good. Thanks. That was good. Nice, nice and clean. Too. Thank you. Like Thank it. you. It. Thank you, Shane. All right, let's get to our trending story this morning. Take a look at this. Two skydivers now have a title of their own. The first ones ever to fly through London's famous Tower Bridge. Can you believe someone hadn't done this before? Oh. Uh, what did uh, 
a creative uh, stunt. So you skydive, they got those wings. Like, that's gotta feel so cool. It's gotta Terrifying. feel so cool, but, but also, but look at this. They're gonna look fly right this. through the bridge. Whoa! It's really giving me um, Harry Potter, if you know, you know? Oh, yeah. You know, oh, like totally. when they're flying through London. Yes. Oh, yeah. Oh, um, oh, totally. That is remarkable, and I would never do anything nearly like that. That's so scary to me, but these guys are jacked up. You know, those are like those adrenaline junkies, right? They do those things, and it, it, that's what they live for. And it's really cool, because then we get to watch it and talk about it nice that's and safely here. Incredible video. Incredible. Uh, flirting with death there, and we get a front row view. The cameras now, like, you right. the cameras mounted everywhere, right. and you get the drones that drone and all that and, stuff, uh, yes, uh, yes. giving us some just spectacular views. Oh, that's uh, pretty cool. Wild, wild video there. All right, let's check in here at 625. Savannah Burritos got a preview of what's coming up in the forecast. Hey there. Yeah, hey guys. Temperatures are going to be cooler than normal, only the lower to mid 60s today. Tomorrow, warming right back up to 72. Lots of sunshine returning. A couple of storm chances to dodge Thursday and Friday. And then, guys, a warm weekend ahead. We're back right after this. Don't go anywhere. You're watching News 3 Now this morning. News 3 Now First Warm Weather is brought to you by Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Discover a shopping and design experience as comfortable as the furniture. Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Schedule your free design consultation today. Best areas that we found, unfortunately, which is probably the area that people we found were suffering the most, was from tax. Mm -hmm. And so by building this wealth optimization team, right, where we can bring in CFAs, CFPs, tax attorneys, CPAs, and really get to the heart of the matter of, you know, targeted, you know, risk, institutionally managed portfolios, to specialized indexing strategies, to basically helping people make that transition from accumulation to distribution and understand that it's a whole nother game. Here we're going to Ho Chunk Gaming Madison this afternoon. No, we couldn't decide what game to play. That's the great thing about Ho Chunk Gaming Madison. There is a myriad of games with a myriad of themes, so you can find your perfect fit. Some machines offer free games, multiple spins, a bonus within a bonus, and multipliers. So many different ways to play means so many different ways to win. Find your perfect game at Ho Chunk Gaming Madison. Ho Chunk Gaming Madison. You can't just pull up to a drive through and order perfectly tender brisket that's been slow smoking over hickory wood for 13 hours. Actually, Arby's just lied. You totally can. Arby's, we have the meat. Ride it, Chip. Don't worry, my cousin's got a guy. <laughs> right now, get two for one windows and no interest for one year. Hurry, call now. Call 866 for Feltco. Nobody kicks off festival season like Stoughton because nobody runs a festival like Stoughton or crafts a festival like Stoughton. The fact is, nobody eats up a festival like Stoughton. The Sit into My Festival in Stoughton starts May 17th. Why choose between that new deck you've been wanting and that vacation you've been dreaming about? Get both. A deck that outlasts wood three to one and up to a seven day vacation on one of the top cruise lines or at one of our hundreds of resorts with no blackout date restrictions. Call now or visit the website for your new deck today. Our record energy costs putting a squeeze on your fixed or limited incomes. With inflation rising at record levels and incomes not keeping pace, you might be one of tens of thousands of Wisconsin residents who are struggling to survive in the blistering heat of summer or the bitter cold of winter. While you haven't asked for it, the Keep Wisconsin Warm Cool Fund and your local energy assistance providers are here to help. No Wisconsin resident should ever have to face the challenge of living without heat or power or face homelessness. For a hand up, apply today and call 1-800-506-5596. That's 800-506-5596. Or visit www.kwwf.org. Right now, wildfires in Canada are sending smoke to Wisconsin. What the air quality looks like in our area this morning. 
Plus, a meeting at the Capitol among GOP lawmakers today. The action they're looking to take against the governor. And an announcement from the president this morning how the White House says he plans to help American workers and companies. And we are forecasting some rain just south of Madison. Find out if we could see those showers make it as far north as here. Hey, good morning, everyone. Thanks for tuning in to News 3 Now this morning on a Tuesday. I'm Chris Stanford. And I'm Shane Hogan. Thanks for waking up with us. We're going to start off right away with video of the wildfires in Canada. The smoke from those fires is once again moving into Wisconsin, not doing our air quality any favors. Yeah, you might remember similar incidents from just last year when health officials had urged people in our area to be wearing masks outside to protect themselves again from that Canadian wildfire smoke. So let's take a look right now at the air quality here in Wisconsin. This is a map with real time updates from the Department of Natural Resources. Right now, Sauk County is in moderate. It was in orange earlier this morning, meaning the air quality was unhealthy for sensitive groups. But again, back down to moderate. Dane, Dodge and Grant County all at moderate as well. Columbia and Jefferson are in good quality. Again, right now, nowhere in Wisconsin is in that orange unhealthy group. All right, Savannah is also tracking the conditions out there. Savannah, what are your maps showing you? Yeah, so guys, we are still seeing that near surface smoke. So this is near surface smoke, smoke, not what's in the upper levels of our atmosphere. But you can see, if you start to see those oranges, yellows, reds, that's moderate to heavy levels of smoke locally across southern Wisconsin. We're seeing those lighter to even moderate shades of blue. That's light to moderate smoke here, though. As we take you through the next 12 hours, you can see the worst or the heavier smoke that's going to stay west and also southwest of the area after that front passes, we should start to see some of that smoke ease out of here, move out of here, but I do still think it's going to be somewhat smoky out there. Not necessarily able to see that, but that could drop some of our visibilities locally as we head through the next couple of hours, mainly later this afternoon and evening. Mostly cloudy right now and temperatures cooler than yesterday, but this is still above what's normal for us to wake up with this time of year. We're at 51 in Madison, 50 in Sauk City, 53 in Belleville. Outside of that, cooler weather just to our north and especially along that lake temperatures there are down to the mid to even lower 40s in a few locations. We are going to see cooler night ahead though tonight into tomorrow morning. So guys, even chillier start Wednesday morning. All right, Savannah on top of it. Thank you very much. We are starting with video of a fire overnight at I-90 eastbound at US 12. It was blocking the right lane for more than six hours since 11 o'clock last night, but as of just a little bit ago, all lanes are now open. We don't have any information about injuries, but a press release will be coming out at some point later today. You can, of course, stay on top of any traffic updates and those air quality alerts with our free First Warn Weather and Traffic app. Just search for WISC Weather in your app store. To the Capitol now, where Republicans in the state Senate today We'll try and overturn a series of vetoes from Governor Evers. Three dozen bills are scheduled for potential veto override attempts today, and Republicans have highlighted five that they will for sure be taking up. Among them, the GOP's proposal on how to fund the fight against PFAS. Both Evers and Republicans want to release millions in funding to fight PFAS, also known as Forever Chemicals. They disagree, though, on how to handle landowners that have that existing PFAS pollution. Lawmakers will meet at 9 o'clock this morning to take up those veto overrides. They have the votes they need in the Senate to override the vetoes without Democratic support, but it's not clear what will happen in the State Assembly where Republicans do not have the votes to override Evers without help from Democrats. Meantime, Governor Evers is countersuing the legislature. He wants the state's budget writing committee to release $50 million to the Department of Public Instruction. Those funds come from a bill meant to help schools implement phonics based methods when teaching kids to read. When he signed that bill, Evers used his partial veto powers to allocate all of the funding to DPI. But Republicans on the committee disagree with the department's plan for using it. So they sued Evers and have been withholding the funds ever since. The DPI's deputy superintendent released a statement on the countersuit, reading in part, it is long past time for the Joint Finance Committee to release the funding already authorized by the legislature and the governor so we can focus on what matters most, helping kids learn to read. Staying at the Capitol, the Wisconsin Supreme Court could overturn a ruling it made to ban absentee ballot drop boxes. 
Justices heard arguments on the case just yesterday. Liberal justices appeared to support overturning that previous ruling. The court banned the boxes in 2022, back when it had a conservative majority. When the court flipped with the election of Justice Janet Protasiewicz, liberal groups asked the court to reconsider the ruling. They argued drop boxes only became controversial after conservatives cast doubt on election results that didn't favor them. Lawyers on the Republican side argue there have been no changes in the facts or law to warrant overturning the court's previous ruling. We are expecting a ruling before the August primary. More on elections now. The Department of Justice is seeking tougher sentences for election crimes triggered by artificial intelligence. They say using AI to threaten election workers makes the crime more dangerous and impactful. The new rule applies to AI use in any election related crime, not just threats against election workers. Earlier this year, you may recall a fake robocall went out imitating President Biden telling Democrats in New Hampshire to stay home for their state's primary. Now to continuing coverage of former President Donald Trump's criminal trial. Trump will be back in court today. He'll watch his former lawyer, Michael Cohen, testify about the allegations against him. Yesterday, Cohen told the jury Trump was personally involved in the plan to give adult film star Stormy Daniels money to hide that alleged affair that they had had from voters ahead of the 2016 election. Prosecutors presented the jury a document with Cohen's name and $130,000 scribbled at the bottom as Cohen described a Trump Tower meeting where the former president allegedly approved a plan to reimburse Cohen for paying off Stormy Daniels. Trump denies the allegations against him and the alleged sexual encounter he had with Daniels. This trial is rigged. Later today, Trump's lawyers are expected to attack Cohen's credibility while on the stand. He has previously served time on federal charges related to the same payments as Cohen. His testimony this, at this trial gives him immunity from state charges. Meanwhile, the White House says President Biden is taking some new action to protect American workers and companies from China's trade practices. His administration is increasing tariffs on $18 billion of Chinese imports. The tariffs will be in place for steel, aluminum, semiconductors, electric vehicles, batteries, medical products, and more. According to the White House, the new rules will quadruple the tariff rate on electric vehicles in 2024 and more than double the rate on steel and aluminum products. They'll also double the rate on semiconductors from China by 2025. The administration says the announcement reflects Biden's commitment to have American workers' backs. The news on Biden and Trump comes amid the latest polling in swing states, including here in Wisconsin. When looking at registered voters surveyed in our state, Biden leads Trump uh, 47 to 45. But when likely voters were surveyed, Trump leads Biden 47 to 46. Both of the survey's results are well within the margin of error at 4.5 percent. 637. This morning, we're taking a look at the case of a Verona woman whose insurance company overcharged her by thousands of dollars. Yeah, and when there was nowhere left to turn, she reached out to our Call for Action team for help. Our Catherine Merck reports. If I can't fix this for myself and for my family, there has to be others that are having the same issue. I spoke to Meredith Christensen nearly four months into her back and forth battle over insurance payments. This came after Dean Health merged with Medica back in January. I realized that our accounts weren't totaling and that our out of payment, you know, pharmacy expenses weren't being added into our out-of-pocket costs. She pays for her insurance this way because she's self-employed. The price tag that came with the merger was way more than most people would be comfortable with. Out-of-pocket expenses have been $15,000. We have spent that much in health insurance just out-of-pocket with a $9,000 maximum. That's a lot of money to have just out of the blue that you're not budgeting for. You know what your out-of-pocket maximum is, but to exceed it by that much, that's a that's a huge expense. She says the company gave her this letter recognizing the issue and said they would be working to proactively fix it without answers. Since then, I've reached out 20 different times to try and resolve this problem, um, and it is still not resolved. When nothing seemed to work, she turned to our call for action team. If this is an issue that's impacting me, it's an issue that's impacting other people. I got this statement from Medica. 
A spokesperson told me they identified an issue earlier this year that impacted the accuracy of the information online for copays and deductibles. When I asked how many people were impacted and wanted an exact number, they told me it was less than a thousand customers. They apologized for the issue and said they're still processing claims. And when the insurance company knows that they have a system error, their responsibility is to take care of that in a way that doesn't impact negatively the, the small fish in this pond here. And that's what they're doing. As of this week, Meredith still hasn't gotten this fixed. She hopes by speaking to us about the issue, other customers can put an end to their months-long frustrations. The urgency maybe isn't there as significantly as it is for me, um, and it hasn't really gone anywhere. The spokesperson with Medica said if members have questions, they can reach out to their customer care center by calling the number on their member ID card. Meredith says if she had any advice for people in this situation, she would tell people to hold on to all documents from the insurance provider to make sure claims can hold up to these larger companies. Moving forward with this call for action, I'm Catherine Merck, News 3 Now. Catherine, thank you. So all these stories are leading up to News 3 Now's Call for Action Telethon. It's this Thursday. Our volunteers are going to be on standby to take your calls and get your stories out there. So make sure to tune in Thursday to watch it all happen live from 4 to 6.30. All right, let's take another look at the air quality map again. This is a map with real-time updates from the Department of Natural Resources. No counties are in the unhealthy section this morning. Dane is in moderate air quality. Again, keeping an eye on that. All right, Savannah, what's coming up in the forecast? Yeah, we do still have that near surface smoke showing up on the map. We'll talk about when we could see that increase our visibility's return to normal coming up. And we're live at Madison Reading Project where they're getting ready to unveil bus 2.0 and we're getting a look inside ahead of their big event this weekend. Come along in the 608 next. Shop from the largest selection of Chevy trucks and SUVs in Wisconsin at Bergstrom Chevrolet. All with Bergstrom's negotiation-free upfront pricing, including our exclusive seven-day price protection and money-back guarantees. Stop in or shop and purchase at BergstromChevrolet.com. Looking to buy or sell? Call Tommy Vaness Realty, First Weber's number one team, dedicated to making your real estate dreams a reality. At Tommy Van S Realty, we understand that buying or selling a home is more than just a transaction. It's about finding the perfect match for your lifestyle. Trust Tommy Van S Realty for all of your real estate needs. Why settle for less? Call Tommy Van S. Broadway at Overture Center. See the best of Broadway. Subscribe at Overture.org. Want to instantly look more attractive and years younger? The solution is whiter teeth. But you love coffee and tea, maybe even wine or smoking, and all of them stain your teeth and make them yellow. It's time you discovered Power Swabs, the fast five-minute revolutionary treatment. The first time I tried it, I was so surprised. My husband was so excited that he wanted to run out and get it. He said, what have you been trying? I said, well, I've tried this product called Power Swab. And he said, I can't believe how white your teeth are. From that point on, I've been sold. Power Swabs are guaranteed to whiten your teeth up to two shades after the first application. After five-minute daily treatments for the next week, your teeth will be an average of six shades whiter. Power Swabs will whiten natural teeth and remove stains from veneers, bonding, caps, and crowns. This is a Power Swab smile. This is a power swap smile. Call, go online, or scan the code on your screen right now to receive 50% off this Mother's Day. You'll also receive the Power Swabs Stain Out Quick Stick absolutely free. And in addition, you will get free shipping. Transform your home in one weekend with paint from Menards. DuraClean Interior is a paint and primer in one with Stay Clean technology. So your home stays beautiful longer. A gallon of flat is $22.95 after rebate. Give your space the platinum treatment with Platinum Plus Interior Paint. Its stain shield technology protects your spaces with a performance you'd expect from a luxury paint at a price you wouldn't. Get a gallon starting at $36.48 after 11% rebate. Save big money at Menards. Call for Action Week continues with a broken refrigerator and a botched repair job. Our investigators jump in to help a local couple whose dispute with an appliance repair business reveals a surprising twist. Tonight at 6. Been scammed? Landlord not responding? Have billing disputes? Take action. 
Thursday from 4 to 6.30 p.m. Call 608-270-2833 and News 3 Now's Call for Action investigators will help you get results. You're watching News 3 Now this morning. Moving forward. All right, time to see what's going on in the 608 this morning. We are hanging out with the Madison Reading Project because they are gearing up to unveil their second book bus that's, this week. That's right. Our Josh Brider is live in Madison with how the nonprofit is moving forward. Hey, Josh. Hey, good morning, guys. This is bus 2.0 behind me. This thing is huge, and this is what they've been working for for about 18 months now. This is going to add to their fleet. The other bus right behind lead photographer Mark Schilling, a much smaller size. So this bus is going to allow them to do very uh, good things and even more right here in the community. So come along inside with me. We're going to meet the founder and executive director of the Madison Reedy Project, Rowan Childs, waiting in this nice warm bus this morning <laughs> on a kind of a breezy morning. And Rowan, this is super exciting for you guys, and this is a long time coming. Yeah, thank you so much. Our staff and our board and volunteers have been working really hard to fundraise the total amounts um, for the bus. We have a fill the bus campaign with just a couple thousand dollars left that will help us fill the bus literally um, this week with all the new books that we'll be giving out this summer and through the rest of the year and just all of the momentum to make this happen over 200 individual donors and foundations have helped us make that happen and make sure that we can have everyone be able to board the bus or be able to shop for fun books and have that fun literacy experience and you say everyone because this bus is fully acceptable or accessible so everyone can get aboard. Yeah, that was one of the things of our uh, current bus, the, the first one, was that not everybody was actually able to board the bus, and that was really important to our staff to make sure everybody could have that experience. Um, the bus goes directly to where our kids and community partners are, um, and so that we'll be able to now do with the accessible bus, either bringing people on via the new lift or bringing books out via the lift and full book carts that are before we wouldn't have able to do for our staff. So obviously bus is a little empty right now, so we gotta fill yeah. this bus. We need your help. <laughs> How can people do that? Yeah, if you wanna go to our website, it's got all the information about our huge bus launch party on Saturday. Um, also, you can donate funds to help us reach our final end goal, or if you have new children's books, you're able to donate those either to our book center or to bring them to the bus launch. Yeah, and this bus will be parked at the Cole Center on Saturday. The Wisconsin yes. Athletics is hosting yeah, you guys. That's very huge. exciting to be hosted by Wisconsin Athletics. We'll have five other mobile partners there with all kinds of kids' events and activities, so there's going to be plenty for kids to do, and of course, receive a free book as well. And Bucky Badger will be there. Oh, what a fun day. Well, congratulations. Yeah. Uh, this is well deserved for you guys here. Just a nonprofit doing amazing things. So thank, thank you for what you do. Thank you, Josh. We appreciate it. Yes, you bet. If you'd like to learn more about the Madison Reading Project or Bus 2.0 and that big event this Saturday at the Cole Center, you can go to the story up on channel3000.com. Chris and Shane. All right, Josh, thank you. Good looking bus. Well, yeah, got to get those kiddos reading over the summer, too. Yeah, absolutely. Well, right. There you go. <laughs> Thanks, Josh. All right, let's check in with Savannah now. She's got your first one forecast. Hey, Savannah. Hey guys, good morning. Temperatures across Dane County are in the lower to mid 50s. For the most part, those are still falling out there. 51 in Madison, 51 in Deerfield, 50 degrees in Sauk City. Not only across the map, but just to our north and northeast. That's where temperatures are even cooler out there. Those have fallen all morning long into the mid to upper 40s. So we do have a couple of cooler areas. Dubuque now is at 54. A couple hours ago, they were kind of holding strong at 60 degrees. There's no 60s out there, but we will see temperatures temperatures return to the 60s briefly. That's not going to be till later this afternoon. Once some sunshine, all those thicker clouds move out of here, some sunshine is expected to return to our skies. Winds right now gusting up to 15 to even 25 or very close to 25 miles per hour. We're at 22 in Madison, the Dells, 21 in Mineral Point, 21 also in Prairie du Chien. So it's pretty windy out there, going to keep winds gusting and breezy conditions all morning, afternoon, and even tonight before they do ease some out there. Showers because of a stationary front that's just sitting south of Rockford. That's still allowing some showers to graze along that Wisconsin Illinois border. We're not really going to see those make its way all the way up to Madison close, but these are going to be spotty a little bit more widespread though. If you are heading south of here, say near Janesville, 
or even as far south as Monroe, maybe Platteville, Dubuque too. That's going to move out of here by lunchtime though. Clouds eventually decrease after that low pressure system continues to move out of here, which is good news, but the wind's still out of the northeast. That's what's going to allow or one of the reasons why we're seeing cooler weather not only this afternoon, but also tonight going to be chilly waking up with tomorrow morning. Temperatures tonight are going to get all the way down to the lower 40s. Patchy frost north of here. I don't necessarily think we'll see that in Madison, but there's a good chance northern Wisconsin. Also portions of northeastern Minnesota see that. We're still dealing with near surface smoke too. You can see as we go through the next 12 hours, not really going to decrease much. So you still have those lighter to even moderate levels, not as heavy of near surface smoke as what they're seeing just out west of here though. 72 Wednesday, we do warm things back up, especially as we're heading closer to the weekend. That's when we're talking about the 80s for Saturday and Sunday. All right, Savannah, thank you very much. Coming up in the morning sprint, we have an update on breaking news we brought you yesterday about a shooting here in Madison. Yeah, if you get a little kiddo turning three soon, let us know. We'll show their picture on TV. We'll be right back. Sponsored by Three Bears Resort, Indoor Water Park and Conference Center in Warrens, Wisconsin. When you donate furniture, cabinets, and appliances to Habitat Restore, you make an impact on neighbors in your community. Profits generated from Restore sales help provide safe and secure housing for hardworking families across Dane County. Donate to make a difference today. Stanton Optical is the best value in eye care. We do the math, people. For $79, you get all this. That costs over $200 at Walmart, over $300 at LensCrafters, and over $200 at America's Best. When it comes to value, Stanton Optical is the top bird. With the best service, quality, and prices, Stanton Optical is the best value in eye care. To help you remember, I made this cheer. The value, A, awesome value, L, lots of value, you get two pairs of free eye exam and anti-glare lenses for only $79. Quality, longevity, selection. These words have been synonymous with the Sergenians and Karastan brands for over 90 years. Save up to 20% on Karastan carpets this month with special financing and rebates. Local, sustainable, Sergenians. Need inspiration? Shop, pick, and save. For over 30,000 mouth-watering choices. Plus, savings like digital coupons worth over $600 each week and up to $1 off per gallon at the pump. Pick and save is worth it every time. Pick and save. Fresh for everyone. experience is at the island. Get up to 60% off list prices on hundreds of items at the huge memorial sale at Slumberland Furniture. Incredible deals like this brand new chase with storage that's also a sleeper. Just $4.49. This complete wicker set with table, just $8.99. Or get a free ottoman with this sectional. Maybe you're looking for a comfy sofa? That's just $3.99. Up to 60% off list. At the huge memorial sale at Slumberland Furniture. Do not miss this one. When a crane collapsed during construction of a Major League Sports Stadium, three workers lost their lives. Their widows called us. When maintenance workers were permanently injured by an industrial accident at a public utilities power plant, the seven injured workers called us. When a factory exploded, injuring dozens of workers, 18 victims, including all three families of men who lost their lives, called us. Because Wisconsinites know who to call when it's a must-win scenario. They call Habish, Habish & Rotier. National reputation, hometown service. Learning to play better golf can be a challenge for anyone. So let PGA professional Joel Weitz improve your play the fundamental way. With simple one-minute golf tips. Fridays on News 3 Now at Noon. Brought to you by Vitense Golfland. Susan Simon, News 3 Now at 4 and 5. Weekdays moving forward. 6.53, time for the morning sprint. Lanes are back open at I-90 eastbound at US-12 after this scene. A fire was blocking the right lane for more than six hours since 11 o'clock last night. We don't have any information about injuries, but are hoping to learn more from officials this morning. In Canada, wildfires are forcing evacuations. Smoke from those fires has now reached the U.S. 
and is affecting the air quality in Wisconsin. Right now, the DNR has Dane County's air quality listed as moderate. An update on breaking news we brought you yesterday. We have learned the person arrested for the shooting near Rindell Park is related to the victim. The victim is still recovering. We don't have any updates on their condition just yet, but we do know that the person police arrested is 45 years old and is now facing an attempted homicide charge. The investigation into the incident is still ongoing. Happening here in a couple of hours, Republican state senators will meet to try and override some vetoes from Governor Evers. This includes his vetoes of their plans to fight PFAS. The Senate has enough votes to override the vetoes. The Assembly, though, would need some help from Democrats. Lawmakers are set to meet at the Capitol at 9 a.m. Former President Donald Trump will be back in court today. His former lawyer, Michael Cohen, is set to continue his testimony as well. Yesterday, Cohen talked about how Trump promised to reimburse him for paying off at all film star Stormy Daniels. The prosecution alleges Trump had Cohen pay her to hide an alleged affair they had from voters ahead of the 2016 election. Today, Trump's lawyers are expected to attack Cohen's credibility. A live look at the White House this morning. President Biden taking some action to protect American workers and companies from China's trade practices. So his administration just announced they're going to increase tariffs on $18 billion of Chinese import. The tariffs will be in place for steel, aluminum, semiconductors, electric vehicles, batteries, and medical products. The number of airlines taking a stand against new rules from the federal government is growing. Alaska, American, Delta, Hawaiian, JetBlue, and United Airlines have filed a suit against the DOT after a ruling determined airlines and ticket agents must disclose all purchasing fees. The agency estimates travelers would save half a billion dollars annually. Temperatures are only going to be in the lower to mid 60s today, so it is going to be cooler out there, but we'll see a brief warm up 72 tomorrow, 71 Thursday, even warmer weather that's going to move in by the weekend, Saturday and Sunday. We're looking at 80 degrees cooler, though, by mid to late week next week, only forecasting about uh, 66 degrees. Ooh, cool. Getting into the 80s this weekend. It's going to feel nice. warm. I know. All right, I want to get that air conditioner cleaned off, ready to go. All right, Savannah, thank you. You're Thanks welcome. for waking up with us, folks. We're back with another news and weather update coming up in 30 minutes.